welcome back to your favorite mindfulness podcast, The Space. Do you ever feel like the office outsider? Do you ever get the cold shoulder from your co-workers? One survey found that feeling ostracized in the office can be more damaging than workplace bullying. And we've all felt it. It happens when you're not invited to meetings. Everyone else is behind a glass window and you're left alone at your computer. According to researchers, ostracism happens when other people fail to socially engage in a way that is socially expected. They don't say hello. They never ask about your weekend. You've been away for a week sick. Has anyone even noticed? The problem is, we often downplay the impact. We don't want to seem petty, needy or childish. But feeling like you belong is key to workplace happiness. So, what can we do to ease the impact? The first step is to find a confidant. You feel left out. So remember you do belong. The time you process your emotions is before you meet up with HR or your manager. This is according to the Workplace Coach Service, Bravely. This can mean venting to a friend or trusted colleague or working with a mental health care provider or simply pausing, breathing and acknowledging what you're feeling. This means if you do decide to approach your manager, you'll have already taken the heat out of your emotions. They also recommend focusing on impact. You may not know why you're being left out. Describe your outcomes. I want to know if I have a say in the decisions relating to my projects. Use a win-win mindset. We both should be able to trust each other. Ask open questions. Do you see the situation any differently? You do know the impact of your mental state and performance. Feeling left out in the office is no small thing. In fact, it's one of the leading reasons that people quit their dream job. In an ideal world, we leave these problems in the playground. You always have a right to belong. Space out.